Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about the concept hydroxy compounds, which is alcohols. Alcohols are organic molecules containing the hydroxyl group OH. With one hydroxyl group substituted into an alkane molecule, the general formula is CnH2n plus 1 OH. Types of alcohols. Primary alcohols are alcohols in which the carbon atom bonded to the OH group is attached to one other carbon atom or alkyl group. Secondary alcohols are alcohols in which the carbon atom bonded to the OH group is attached to two other carbon atoms or alkyl groups. Tertiary alcohols are alcohols in which the carbon atom bonded to the OH group is attached to three other carbon atoms or alkyl groups. Distinguishing reactions of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Only primary and secondary alcohols can get oxidized when mildly oxidized with acidified potassium dichromate. Primary alcohols get mildly oxidized to aldehydes. Secondary alcohols get mildly oxidized to ketones. Tertiary alcohols do not undergo oxidation with acidified K2Cr2O7. Therefore, only the oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols will change the color of K2Cr2O7 solution as the orange Cr2 O7 2 minus ions are reduced to green Cr3 plus ions. As you can see here, examples propan 1 all, primary alcohol, propan 2 all, secondary alcohol has changed its color, uh, while 2 methyl propan 2 all, which is a tertiary alcohol, uh, remains orange. Physical properties of alcohols. They are colorless liquids at room temperature pressure. Boiling point and density increases with increasing carbon atoms and also with increasing OH groups. Boiling point decreases because branching increases, Van der Waals forces decreases, so boiling point decreases. Boiling point of alcohols is greater than alkenes as they have hydrogen bonds. Solubility of alcohols in water. Smaller alcohols mix completely with water since strong hydrogen bonds occur between alcohols and water. As hydrocarbon nature increases, there is more carbon-carbon bonds. The non-polar character outweighs the ability of the OH to form hydrogen bonds and therefore solubility decreases. Small alcohols, example ethanol, are good solvents for both polar and non-polar compounds as they have polar and non-polar components. Comparing the acidity of alcohols and water, alcohols have a low degree of dissociation. This means that when dissolved in water, alcohol molecules do not dissociate or split up to a greater extent. Alcohol dissociates to form alkoxide ion and hydrogen ion. The position of the equilibrium lies to the left, meaning that there are far more alcohol molecules than RO- and H plus ions. When water dissociates, the position of the equilibrium still lies to the left, but there are more H plus ions compared to the dissociation of alcohols. Water gives OH- and H plus ions. As alcohols have a lower H plus ion concentration in solution compared to water, alcohols are weaker acids than water. The inductive effect in alcohols. Electron donating species such as alkyl groups push electrons into a covalent bond and are said to have a positive inductive effect. In alcohols, the oxygen atom in the alkoxide ion is bonded to an electron donating alkyl group. This means that there is more electron density on the O- atom. The alkoxide ion is therefore more likely to accept an H plus ion and form the alcohol again. When water dissociates, the hydroxide ion only has one other hydrogen atom. There is no extra electron density on the oxygen, which is less likely to accept an H plus ion 
Water is therefore a stronger acid than alcohols. Chemical reactions to make alcohols. These are the different reactions. Electrophilic addition of steam to an alkene. Reaction of alkenes with coal dilute potassium permanganate. Substitution of a halogenoalkene. Reduction of an aldehyde or ketone. Reduction of a carboxylic acid. And hydrolysis of an ester. Let's see one by one. Electrophilic addition of steam to an alkene using a concentrated phosphoric acid H3PO4 catalyst. Ethene plus steam in presence of H3PO4 gives C2H5OH which is ethanol. The next reaction, oxidation of alkenes with cold dilute acidified potassium manganate 7 to form a diol. Remember that we can use the symbol O to represent oxygen provided by an oxidizing agent in organic reactions. C2H4 plus H2O plus oxygen gives ethane 1,2-diol. Nucleophilic substitution, hydrolysis in this case, of a halogenoalkane by heating with NaOH aqueous. Bromoethane plus NaOH gives ethanol plus NaBr. Reduction of an aldehyde to form a primary alcohol or of a ketone to form a secondary alcohol using a reducing agent such as NaBH4 or LiAlH4. Propanol on reduction gives propan 1 ol and propanone on reduction gives propan 2 ol. Reduction of a carboxylic acid using NaBH4 or LiAlH4. Ethanoic acid on reduction gives ethanol and water. Hydrolysis of an ester by heating with a dilute acid or alkali. With dilute acid, ester can form carboxylic acid and alcohol. With alkali, the ester can form the salt of carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Next comes the chemical reactions of the alcohols. The following reactions can be seen one by one. First reaction is combustion. Alcohols undergo complete combustion under excess oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. Example. C2H5OH plus 3 oxygen gives 2 CO2 plus 3 water. When oxygen is limited, carbon monoxide and carbon soot might be formed. Second reaction is substitution to form a halogenoalkane. The OH group of the alcohol can be substituted by a halogen to produce a halogenoalkane. The halogen can be obtained from three sources. Hydrogen halide, phosphorus halide, PCl5 or PBr3 or Pi3, thionyl chloride, SOCl2. The first one is with hydrogen halide, HX. The alcohol is refluxed with sodium halide and concentrated sulfuric acid to produce the hydrogen halide, HX. The reaction is shown here, NaX plus H2SO4 gives HX plus NaHSO4, where X can be chlorine or bromine. For iodine, phosphoric acid H3PO4 is used instead of sulfuric acid. The hydrogen halide is then reacted with the alcohol. Take ethanol as an example. Ethanol plus HX gives CH3CH2X plus H2O. With phosphorus halide PCL5, PCL3, PBr3 or Pi3. Alcohols react with phosphorus 5 chloride to produce a halogenoalkane. White fumes of hydrogen chloride gas is also observed. Take ethanol as an example. Ethanol and PCL5 gives chloroethane, POCl3 and HCl. This can be used as a test for the hydroxy group. 
white fumes of hydrogen chloride gas is observed if hydroxy group is present. For phosphorus 3 halides, a halogenoalkane is also obtained. The phosphorus halides are prepared in situ by mixing red phosphorus and the halogen. Alcohol plus PX3 gives haloalkane plus H3PO4, where X can be chlorine, bromine or iodine, with thionyl chloride SOCl2. Alcohols react with thionyl chloride to produce a halogenoalkane. Sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride are given off as well. Ethanol plus SOCl2 gives haloalkane plus SO2 and HCl. This reaction is useful in obtaining pure halogenoalkane. This is because the other two products are gases as they can be separated from the mixture easily. The next reaction is with sodium metal. Acids react with metals to produce hydrogen gas and a salt. Alcohols are very weak acids so they undergo this reaction as well. When sodium metal is added to the ethanol, the sodium metal sinks and bubbles of hydrogen gas are released. Salt form is sodium ethoxide, a white solid. Ethanol plus sodium gives sodium ethoxide and hydrogen. This reaction can be used as a test for hydroxy group. Bubbles of hydrogen gas is released if a hydroxy group is present. The next reaction is oxidation. Reagent used for this reaction is acidified potassium dichromate which changes color from orange to green and acidified KMnO4 which changes color from pink to colorless. Primary alcohols on oxidation gives you carboxylic acid and aldehyde. If you need aldehyde, you must distill as soon as it forms. Aldehyde can be obtained by gentle heat but if you require carboxylic acid, you need to reflux. The equations are shown over here. Ethanol on oxidation gives ethanol. Ethanol on oxidation gives ethanoic acid. Secondary alcohol on oxidation gives ketone, which is shown here, propanone. Tertiary alcohols are not oxidized because no hydrogens attached to carbon with OH group, so oxidizing agent color does not change. The next reaction is dehydration. The type of reaction is elimination. The conditions required are mentioned here. Concentrated sulfuric acid or H3PO4 at 180 degrees Celsius or Al2O3 at 300 degrees Celsius. Alcohols can also undergo elimination reactions in which water is lost and in this case alkenes are formed. As the small molecule removed from the alcohol molecule is water, this reaction is also known as dehydration. Alcohol in presence of catalyst and heat gives alkene and water. The reaction takes place when alcohol vapor is passed over a hot catalyst of aluminum oxide powder. Pieces of porous pot or pumice as well as a concentrated acid also catalyze the reaction. For example, Ethanol in presence of aluminum oxide catalyst and heat can give ethene and water. This is the figure which shows how we can collect the ethene gas which is formed. It's collected over water. And the next reaction is esterification. Another reaction that involves the breaking of the OH bond in alcohols is esterification, that is, the making of esters. An esterification reaction can take place between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. It can be classified as a condensation reaction. Here is an example of esterification reaction. Ethanol plus ethanoic acid in presence of H2SO4 gives ethyl ethanoate and water. The ester formed is called ethyl ethanoate. Another example is shown over here. Propanoic acid and ethanol in presence of H2SO4 gives ethyl propanoate and water. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.